Hey everybody, my name is Justin and welcome back to the BTR Garage. Today we're gonna be changing the oil on my 7.3 liter diesel engine, this 2002 Ford F250, and at the same time trying to fix a problem that we've been having with the truck. With the weather getting a little bit colder here in Colorado, I have been experiencing a common diesel engine problem and that is hard starting, or in other words, the truck is having a hard time cranking over and firing up. The symptoms I have been seeing, of course, are endless cranking where the car is not firing and I have white smoke coming out of my tailpipe, a little bit of black smoke at times as well, but mostly white smoke which indicates that the fuel is not being burned in the engine. So we have unburnt fuel vapors coming out of the tailpipe, which can mean a few different things. And from my research, I found that injectors can be a common issue, either old worn injectors or malfunctioning injectors, but more often than not, just injectors that are not operating in an optimal state. And since the injectors are operated off the same engine oil that the rest of the engine uses for lubrication, that engine oil can get gunked up in the injectors. They don't work properly, they fire inconsistently and that kind of thing. So what I've done is grab some products that I have on the bench back here, we'll show you in a second, that are meant to clean out that gunky oil in the injectors, get them operating again in a normal state. So what we're gonna do is get the oil change done on the truck. This is actually an oil additive. Again, I'll show you in a second here, and then down the road in a month or two, we'll come back and see if it actually helped with the issue that I'm having with the truck. Hopefully it does, and I don't have to take it into the shop to get it checked out by professionals. All right, so for the oil change, what I am using is Shell Rotella T5 synthetic oil. This is 15 W40 weight. This is pretty common oil to be used with these trucks. So we have four gallons of that oil. This truck actually takes 15 quarts of oil to fill it up, so you do need a lot of oil. Of course, we have some washers to replace the washer on the oil drain plug. Then we have the Motorcraft oil filter. This is a big dog filter. We'll actually fill this up with oil as well before we install it. And then on to the product that I'm gonna use to help with the hard starting issues. This is Hot Shots Secret Stiction Eliminator. So stiction is the term that they use for the injectors on the truck not firing properly and when they're gunked up. So we're gonna use that to hopefully help with that particular issue. I also have Hot Shot Secret Diesel Performance. This is a fuel additive just to help with cleaning out injectors as well and improving throttle response. So hopefully with these two products, some fresh oil in the truck and a fresh oil filter, we will resolve some of the starting issues that we've had with the F-250. All right, let's get some work done here. We're gonna loosen up the oil fill cap in the truck. We're not gonna take it all the way off, just loosen it up so air can get in there. This will help drain the engine oil underneath the truck quicker. Then we have a life-size oil drain pan. <laughs> yes, this thing holds 24 quarts of oil. Again, guys, remember this truck holds 15 quarts of oil. You're gonna be dumping oil for days when you drop that drain plug down there. So make sure you have an oil drain pan that is large enough to contain all the oil. Obviously you wanna minimize the amount of mess you have when the oil is pouring out of the truck. So let's get under there, get this drainage of the oil started. So once we're under here, grab your 19 millimeter wrench, grab your safety glasses, and obviously you're gonna want some rags and towels and things as well. Next, we gotta remove the oil filter. I didn't show this earlier, but you're gonna want one of these little oil filter removal tools like this guy here. That basically slips right around the oil filter itself. And give it a twist and it starts to loosen up. Makes it really handy because getting your hands up in here is kind of difficult. So having the tool definitely helps. Once it cracks loose, it's gonna spew oil all over the place as well. <laughs> so that's why we moved our pan so that it's in the right position while that is leaking out. 
I'm gonna replace my drain plug because the pan is just about empty. Getting rid of the old washer. I have a new washer right here for the drain plug. Back to our oil filter now, see if we can get it off of here without getting completely hosed by oil. There we go. And of course we want to clean up the mating surface where the oil filter mounts up here. We'll grab my torque wrench in a second and torque the drain plug down to about 12 to 14 pound feet of torque. Grab your new oil filter and we're gonna fill this one up with oil about three quarters of the way or so. Should take roughly two quarts of oil. Whoops, there we go. I'm gonna take a little bit of that, rub it around on the rubber gaskets on the filter itself. What's gonna happen is the oil is gonna soak into the filter and lower so you want to give it a little bit of time and then fill it up again. This is a crucial step in the process. You don't want to put an empty oil filter into the truck because of how much oil this thing holds. If we put an empty filter in there, it's going to take a while for the system to pump oil into here and then get back into the engine. So we're not going to be pumping oil into our engine early on in the process if we do not fill it up. All right, we're gonna wipe the face of the oil filter mount clean again. Grab our new oil filter, which is now filled with oil. Gonna install the new oil filter, get it about hand tight. Once it is hand tight, we're gonna use our little tool and just tighten it a little bit more, not too much. Maybe a quarter turn to half a turn. That should be good. And we'll torque down our drain plug and you really don't want to overdo this. Obviously you don't want to strip out the threads in the oil pan. So again, 12 to 14 pound feet of torque, really light. And that's about all you need. The next step is the easy step and that is filling the truck back up with oil. And this is where we put our Hot Shots secret stiction eliminator into the truck as well. The instructions call for 64 ounces of the stiction eliminator on the first treatment or the initial treatment. So I have my measuring cup here and what we're gonna do is put a gallon or two of oil in the truck and then add in the stiction eliminator and then add the rest of the oil into the truck. We're also going to take a look at the high pressure oil pump reservoir which sits in the front of the truck here and holds a little bit of oil. That is the oil that is used to activate the injectors. We wanna pump out the old dirty oil that is in that thing and fill it with good clean oil as well as that oil does cycle through with the rest of the oil system. So the stiction eliminator is added to the oil and actually after looking at the size of the bottle, it is 64 ounces. I did not need to use the measuring cup, but for maintenance treatments after you do the initial treatment like I am doing, it does call for 32 ounces every few oil changes, I believe. Do check on the instructions if you get the Hot Shot Stiction Eliminator. So the 64 ounces of Stiction Eliminator is two quarts. So basically we're adding 13 total quarts of the Rotella T5 regular oil into the truck. So we're gonna finish that off now. 
All right, so we've added all our oil, we've added our stiction eliminator, and remember when you're adding oil back to the top of the truck in the oil fill tube, we've already put two quarts of oil roughly into the oil filter, so we only need to add about 11 quarts to the truck, two from the oil filter, two from the stiction eliminator, 11 in the truck, we get to 15 quarts of oil. Now we're gonna take a look at the HPOP reservoir, that high pressure oil pump reservoir, it lives right down here. Just to the left of the alternator, you'll see that little rectangular box. That is the HPOP reservoir. And this little bolt right here is what we're gonna remove in order to empty the fluid and then refill it. So we're gonna grab an Allen key, take that little bolt out. It looks like so. And then we're gonna grab a pump. I suggest getting a pump not like the one <laughs> that I have. I actually had to siphon some of the oil out. But get a little pump that you can fit into the reservoir and start pumping all of the oil out. Once we have all of the oil out, we're gonna get a little funnel and start putting engine oil back into the reservoir. Every fill or so, we're gonna check it to make sure that the oil is at the top of the reservoir. We don't wanna overflow it, of course. So get it so that it is just about half an inch or a quarter of an inch below the top of the reservoir fill hole. All right, so we've just about wrapped things up finally here. We've got the oil in the truck. We have our stiction eliminator, all 64 ounces or two quarts of it in the truck for that initial treatment. We have our HPOP reservoir emptied out. We filled it back up with engine oil. And again, that particular process of emptying and refilling the HPOP reservoir is optional. I wanted to go through the process just to learn how to do it and learn what the HPOP was and where it is and make sure I have everything cleaned out with fresh oil given the problems that I am seeing with the truck. The only other thing we have left to do is the Diesel Extreme Performance Fuel Additive. Again, that's a fuel additive. We'll add that when we fill up the tank of gas. I think it is eight ounces for 20 gallons of gas. So I'm gonna be putting about 10 to maybe 12 ounces of that additive in my fuel tank because it holds 24 gallons of diesel fuel. What we're gonna do next is just start up the truck check for leaks at our oil drain plug, at our oil filter underneath the truck, and of course the HPOP nut as well. Make sure we're having no leaks. Once that is done, we are pretty much complete. But let's go ahead and get this thing started up. So everything started up good. The last thing we're gonna do naturally is check our oil dipstick level to make sure that is good. Hopefully everybody knows how to check the oil level. You have a little perforated section in between the lines on the bottom of the dipstick. That's where your oil line wants to be within. And checking ours, we're right at the top of the line, just a teeny tiny bit under. So we are good to go. All right, everybody, we're gonna wrap this video up. Oil change process for your 7.3 liter diesel engine. We also showed you how to add the Hot Shots Secret Stiction Eliminator Additive to the oil as well. Hopefully that will help with my cold start and hard start issues that I've been having with the truck recently. We also have that Hot Shots Secret Diesel Extreme Fuel Additive. We'll add that to the tank of gas once I fill up the truck. Now, Hot Shots does recommend running the additive in the truck for a few hundred miles, maybe even 500 miles to fully clean out the system and get the gunk off of the injectors and the rest of the components in the oil system. So we'll do a follow-up video in a month or two and I'll let you know how the truck is driving after using these additives and also if it has helped resolve our hard start and cold start issues that I've been having with the truck. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope the video was helpful. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you have any thoughts, comments, or questions, leave them down below. I would love to hear from you. Even if you have some tips on how I can resolve the problem that I've been having with the truck or maybe just oil change and maintenance tips in general. If you're interested in any of the products that I've used in this video, like the Hot Shots Secret Stiction Eliminator or the Fuel Additive or even the oil or the oil filter, I'll put links to those down in the description as well so you can pick those up if you would like. Stick around for more good stuff coming up, guys. Maybe some more truck videos as well. 
Stay fast out there. I am checking out. We'll talk to you all next time.